We are now going to look at file cabinets. As you can see here, I pulled out the iStream file cabinet from the file room. If I look at my context menu options available for the file cabinet, right mouse on the cabinet, open will open up the search form. Browse allows me to browse the contents of the file cabinet by title, person, type or by date. I'll show you this in a moment, but there is a warning. You'll only see the first 200 in the list by default and normally file cabinets have a lot more documents in it than that. We can send a shortcut of the file cabinet to another recipient. We can copy the file cabinet and paste it to create a new reference to our file cabinet on our desktop. We can remove this reference from our desktop If we have privileges, we can rename the file cabinet. Notice here, this is a way of re-indexing any object within key file, even a document or a folder, using a standard Windows method. And here I can modify the text using the label on the object itself. Where used should tell me that it's in a number of places, but also in my trash can because I just trashed it. And finally, properties. We'll bring up the standard properties form for the file cabinet. Now let me show you the browse options. This screen has a number of interesting features that you should be aware of for any container with a larger number of objects. Here we have a list of contained objects. We are able to go to the toolbar to show it by large icons, by small icons, in a list mode, or in a details view as you saw originally. If I go into a list view, notice that I have a new context menu when I click on white space. I can change the view, I can refresh my view, but also from here I can select a context menu to open up the search form from within the container itself. If I show you the details view, in normal space it's not possible to pick up the find context menu, unless of course I go to the bottom of the list and find some white space. Still in browse, notice that I have some extra toolbar options which say first, previous, next and last. These refer to the content block. A content block contains by default the first 200, the next 200, the previous 200 or the last 200 objects in this container. This is because we by default only display the first 200 objects in the container for any container in key file workspace. This is controlled by the web access component of key file workspace. If I go to a list view and click on some white space, notice I have a content block option here which is greyed out. I have less than 200 items in my list. Should I have more, then the content block option will be enabled. Going to details view gives me the standard feature available that you saw earlier with folders and baskets of being able to sort the sublist by title, 
by person, or any of the column headers.